Welcome back to another session. Uh, I hope you are well. I'd like to talk to you uh, in today's session about depression and detox. Now, in the session I covered previously, towards the end of the session, I, I alluded to the fact that we, we live in a, in a polluted world. We live in a polluted environment. I would like to expand on that in today's session um, and show how there is a, a connection between uh, how detoxed uh, we are and our detox regime and our level of depression. I think most people would agree, <clears throat> irrespective of where you live, where you are uh, in the world, most people would agree that there's so much pollution around us. The environment, the air, the water, the food, the soil, there is pollution. A lot of it is man-made um, and a lot of it is caused by man. Uh, therefore, keeping our body uh, free of the burden of, 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 of toxins and, 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 and metals um, is something that we, um, um, that we must contend with. Uh, if you bear with me, uh, we um, we must contend with, with the whole idea of how do we keep ourselves free um, from this burden and reduce the risk as as much as we can. There are generally um, apologies. I'm again distracted. I should probably I should put this on on mute so that any calls or notifications are, are not distracted. Uh, there are three categories of toxins that we all have to contend with, we have to deal with. One of them is what, what I call a water-soluble toxin. Uh, these, the, these toxins get into the body by our bloodstreams and they make their way into certain organs, liver, kidney, but in any case, these water-soluble toxins are excreted by the body by virtue of how the body functions. They're not the worst of the three. The second is what I call heavy metal toxins. Um, and these are the ones that are stuck in our organs, uh, heart, brain, bone marrow. And these are more pernicious. Um, and heavy metal is something we have to be very, very you know, worrisome about. And then we have the third, which is what I call the persistent organic uh, pollutants, um, which bioaccumulate in the fats um, in our body. These, because they're mostly surface level, we have an opportunity to get rid of them. Um, one of the ways we do that is by detoxification. I made reference to in sessions prior that um, by the lifestyle you lead, there's, there are benefits to choosing a lifestyle because they create um, unexpected improvement um, in other parts of our life. Uh, detoxification is one of such benefits. It doesn't just affect our physical health. It doesn't just affect uh, our longevity. It doesn't just remove toxins. Um, the bioaccumulates in the fats uh, in our body but it also goes as far as uh, giving us um, uh, a, a huge level of improvement with regards to emotional health, mental health, psychological health, peace of mind. The way we detox is simply by fundamentally, and for most people, there are different pathways, but fundamentally is by what we call heating regimes. There are others uh, whereby you can take um, substances uh, that assist in pulling out the toxic metals that, that is more complicated uh, I, I have no intention of actually going into that in this session because i am not a professional but there are there are certain things that one can take and it helps pull out any toxic metals in the body but when we say detoxification we are speaking specifically to um, uh, a way of removing this persistent organic uh, pollutants uh, that by accumulating the fats on our skin. And heating regimes uh, is one good way to detoxify yourself. And here is something that is fascinating. If you have 50 heating regimes, you automatically will halve 
your toxic load. If you have another 50, it reduces it again by 50. So you go from 100, assuming you're 100% toxic, down to 50, down to 25. If you do another 50 heating regimes, it drops you down to 12.5. If you do another heating regimes, it drops you down to about 6.25. Now, it's not linear per se. In any case, what we're looking at here, perhaps this is a recommendation, 200 heating regimes in a year will, will take your toxic load from 100% down to something in the region of about 6% or less. That is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now, so my recommendation to you is if you're, if you're struggling with depression at any level, you have to get into heating regimes. And you will be astonished as to how well this makes a difference in your life, in your well-being. Heating regimes come in several forms, but fundamentally it, re it requires an exposure to heat. That's where the detoxification process begins. You can go for saunas, and saunas come in different you know, varieties. You, you might go for what we call an infrared sauna, which does not require too much heat or increase in your body temperature. So for example, if you suffer from chronic fatigue or ME, or just very strong levels of fatigue, um, but not necessarily chronic, uh, uh, an infrared sauna would be better because of how the heat functions through the body. A traditional sauna would also be just as good. You sweat everything out, and here is the key thing, all this uh, uh, bioaccumulated uh, pollutants in your fat effectively just come up to the surface through your sweat and you can wash it off. You can do steam rooms, which actually increases the body temperature and allows you to sweat. You can sit in the sun, free energy, nature's gift. And um, unfortunately in parts of Europe, in the UK for example, we do not have uh, great weather always. Um, but if you have the opportunity to, 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 to travel, to go on holidays, and you sit in a dry sun and allow the sun to bask on your skin, that rises, increases your body uh, core temperature and actually helps in the detoxification process. You can also apply what we call hot bath, but here's a qualification. Um, two days ago, I walked into uh, a local hotel sauna area, uh, spa area, and they had this, you know, a number of hot tubs and you know, people were inside and having a great time and having you know, drinks and champagne and and uh, just incredible uh, festi, um, festive uh, uh, celebration. There's a problem with hot tubs, which I would recommend um, against. Most traditional hot tubs use chlorine um, and you do not want to get chlorine into your body because when you heat up the body, you open up the pores, and unfortunately, you can absorb chlorine. I would only recommend hot tubs if you use iodine. You know, a few drops of iodine in the hot tub. The iodine contact kills all microbes. Uh, it contact kills all fungi and bacteria, etc. Uh, and it helps in, in detoxifying and descaling and uh, sterilizing the water itself. Is easily absorbed by the skin. So the iodine water, which forms part of the heart's experience, even if the iodine is absorbed by the skin, it's good for your skin. It's, it's in a, such a small quantity that it doesn't cause any reason for concern. It's much better than chlorine. Uh, it's partly why I do not recommend to most people to swim in swimming pools because of the chemicals that they put into this um, uh, plunge areas and, and, and are not good for the body. The point of this is by increasing your temperature, by going through a detox process, you allow some of the, what we call the, the organic pollutants, uh, VOCs to be washed out, uh, to come to the surface. And there is the key part. If you go into sauna and you do not wash up immediately, the body absorbs back into the skin the metals and the toxins that you just excreted. So the key thing is, once you've finished having a, a regime, a, a detox regime session, just wash it off. 
use some natural soap and wash yourself and wash off all those toxins and compounds in your body. The benefit of this for those who suffer from depression is twofold. Firstly, you're removing any possible foreign object, metal, uh, that could cause your body to act in a manner where you have autoimmune issues. But secondly, in the process of detoxifying yourself, sitting in the sun, sauna, infrared, even having a hot bath, like this is one that I did not mention, you know, having a, uh, uh, you know, Epsom sore bath or magnesium sore bath, that is also just as good because again, you're increasing the body temperature and then you're absorbing magnesium. Magnesium relaxes the body. Calcium contracts the body. So in addition to uh, having a, a bath, a hot bath, if you there's magnesium salt or Epsom salt baths, what you find is that your body's relaxing because you're absorbing the magnesium you need directly rather than taking it uh, by medication. Um, in any case, um, the second part of the benefit of detox regimes to the individual is, depending on how intense you do this, you find actually it helps you lose weight. So it serves as a, in, in many ways in keeping you in shape. It minimizes any heart conditions you might have, cancer, heart conditions, dementia, uh, and more. But even more importantly, what it does is it allows you, if you are one of those who struggle with meditation, it allows you to sit still. You don't take your phones into the spaces and therefore you're dis disconnected from all of the distractions. And hopefully in that period, your body's not releasing cortisol because you're relaxing your body and you're allowing your body to calm down. It's an alternative to sleep because you're allowing the organs in the body, you're allowing the physical skin, the biggest muscle in the body to relax, to rejuvenate uh, and to rest. Hope today's session has been useful.